How to Play Good Good Father by Chris Tomlin. Hey there, this is Chad Garber, and that's what this video is all about. I'm going to show you how to play Good Good Father on the acoustic guitar by Chris Tomlin. And there's a primarily about four different parts, okay? One part is the intro and the, the main riff. Okay, and then there's the next part, which is... And then there's the chorus, which is the same thing. And then there's the bridge, I guess you'd call it, and it goes... part that kind of goes near the end. And those are the main parts. And then really I'm looking at it, there's pretty much four chords. Um, Four, let's see, maybe five, okay? And so here are the chords to learn, okay? It's in the key of G, okay? Actually, so I got my capo on the second fret, and, yep, I got my, sorry. So I got my, I got my capo on the second fret, and I'm doing a G. That's when you start off with a G. Okay, so actually there's more than four. There's five, six, or, six or so chords, depending on how you, you know, label the chord as a new chord or just an extension of that chord. So anyway, so the first chord though is a G. And you can just kind of follow along with my strumming or the strumming on Chris Tomlin's song. And the second th th second chord is, you're still doing the G, but you're gonna take your, your ring finger off the second fret of the B string. And you're gonna take your pointer finger and put it on the first fret of the B string. So in other words, in other words, then you're gonna you're gonna take off, and you're not gonna you know you're obviously taking off your pointer finger from the second fret of the A string, and you're putting it on the the first fret of the B string, and you're taking your again you're taking your ring finger off the second fret of the B string. So it's so you're only hitting three strings there. You're hitting the third fret on the E, the low E with your middle finger. You're, t you're hitting the second fret of the B string with your pointer finger, and I am hitting the third fret of the high E with my pinky finger. So, th so the first G is the regular G, you know, not the it's a full G. And this the third chord, whatever you want to call it is you're, you're basically going to take your... You're basically going to take your pointer finger off the second fret, or the first fret of the B string, and you're going to put your ring finger back on the second fret of the B string. But you're going to leave your pointer finger off the other, you know, the, the sec, uh, both the second, or the first fret of the B string and off of the second, the first fret of the B string, take it off there, and leave it off the second fret of the, of the A string. So you're just doing three, three fingers, and that's the your your middle finger is hitting the third fret of the low E, your ring finger is hitting the, the third fret of the B, and then your pinky finger is hitting the third fret of the E. So it's and 
And that's, you know, it, it seems like it's a really hard stretch at first if you've never done these kind of chords before. Um, but if you keep on practicing going, just practice between that change, it's not that bad. Your fingers will get used to it, your hand will, you know, adjust to where it needs to be. So, so that's the first part. Real important to make sure you do move your your ring finger off the second fret of the B when you put your pointer finger on the first fret of the B because it obviously you won't be able to hear that change. Okay, so the next part is you're doing you're doing different chords, but you're doing it all in a little in, in the kind of the, the contemporary Christian kind of way, which is you kind of just change the G to, to different parts of different chords. So, in other words, so when you the, when you go into this, you're doing a C, but you're basically doing a, you know, you're doing a G, all you're doing is from the G's, you're taking your, your pointer finger, taking it from the second fret of the A string and putting it on the second fret of the D string, and you're taking your middle finger and taking it off the, the first fret of the, or the third fret of the E string and putting it on the third fret of the A string. So it's a C, but it's a, in the, cause the C, it has this, but it has the, you know, your, your ring finger and your pinky finger on the third fret of the E, B and E consecutively. You see what I'm saying? So it's a C with those extra fingers. Okay? So again, you're hitting, your middle finger is um, on the third fret of the A string. Your pointer finger is on the second fret of the D string. Your ring finger is on the second fret of the B string. And your ring finger is on the second fret of the, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, your, your, I'm sorry, your ring finger's on the third fret of the, the B string, and your pinky finger's on the third fret of the E string. Okay, so you go. And all you gotta do then, take off your fingers, and all you have to do is use your, take your pointer finger and, and place it on the second fret of the A string, and take off your, your middle finger completely. So it's. Switch. So you're hitting those three. You're hitting three. You're fretting three notes. <clears throat> your, your pointer fingers on the A, second fret of the A string, and then your your ring finger is still on the third fret of the B string, and your pinky still on the third fret of the E string. So it's and the next one is a little bit. This is probably the most difficult change in the in the song, possibly with the um, exception of the first. You know. I mean, it's, it's, you go to A minor basically, but you're not going to do a regular A minor. Regular A minor would have been easy. It would have been easier, or would be easier. You just go, and you can do it if you just want to get by. If you just want to do an A minor just to get by. That'll work. And then it would be A minor then D. But <clears throat> the way I think he does it is he does a. He, he leaves he leaves his pinky on the third on the third fret of the high E, but he takes his takes his uh, middle finger, puts it on the second fret of the uh, D string, and then his pointer finger on the first fret of the B string. So it's an A minor without the ring finger on without the ring finger on the, the second fret of the D string or the G string. And instead having the third, the pinky on the third fret of the high E. And so in other words, it's middle finger, second fret of the D string, pointer finger on the second, first fret of the B string, and the pinky finger on the third fret of the E string. So it's like that. So. Sometimes it's a little hard to change. the D. And so again, that's the hardest part is just changing to that A minor thing. Again, all you have to do is just take your fingers off. If you have trouble, just, or just take, put your fingers down, do it, take it off, do it again, take it off, do it again, and then do it, you know, consecutively through the progression and it'll eventually be easy. So 
that's a really good sounding chord. Okay, so then D. So the next part is the bridge, what I call the bridge. And the interesting, interesting thing is, is you're primarily hit. You're doing the the, the first the C is the same, and even the second note is the same chord. You're, I mean, the way the way I've learned it, or the way the way I, the way I play it, you're the second time the second chord is pretty much the same thing you were doing before. But this time you're hit, you're hitting the low E and just focusing on those top few strings. So it's like the first time it was like in the verse it was I'm sorry the chorus. Okay, but on, on the bridge it goes. Interesting. So you're doing the same chord. You're just playing the different. You're, you're playing the low E this time. And then you're still going to the A thing, A minor thing. And then you go back to the G this time instead of the D. And then you do it again. Back to the E. And then to the D. So C, that C thing. Second note, okay, so just to let you know that the second chord is pointer finger on the second fret of the A string, and then your your ring finger is on the third fret of the e, B string, and the ring, your ring, pinky finger is on the th third fret of the high E, and so that's, again, in, but you're just hitting the E, because really the chord is an, is an E, E minor. So you could, you could do it just with the chord. But I think the way he does it is. So it's an A minor again. It's in that A, that A thing that's not quite the A minor with the pinky on the third fret of the E string. And instead of going with the D on, the, on that, it goes to the G. And then the second time around, it does the same thing C, E. And then it just goes to the D. Then it just goes, yeah. Um, then it just goes straight to the D. So the whole progression of the bridge is. So it's C, E, minor, A, A minor, sorry, A minor, G, C, E minor, D. And then it repeats that. And then the only other chord progression is so the first three chords you do. For the other, for the last part, is the same chord you did for the chorus. <laughs> then you go back to the second chord. You go back up, and then you go back to the first one. Okay, so so the whole thing is the same first chord, second chord, same. Third chord same. And then you go back to the second chord. Back to the first chord. Go back to the second chord. And then you go to the D instead. And then it goes back to the. But actually, when he does that G, just for the record, he does have both. I wasn't doing it right just then. He does. I believe he does have the, um, the the his ring finger on the third fret of the B string and his pinky finger on the third fret of the E string. So he's he's doing a full G. I believe. And there's one other part in there. He's doing a little bit of a, a finger picking thing. I'm not going to go into that one. I just wanted to teach you the basic rhythm of the song. And so that is it. If you like this video and you want to see more of them, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and and then also hit the little notification bell that will give you notifications every time I upload a new video. And I should be doing at least. I mean, I will be doing at least one guitar lesson a week. And so you'll get at least one notification of a new guitar lesson a week right on your inbox. How how convenient is that? Anyway, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it. Also, if you want, if you have um, some requests of songs you want to do, please leave it in the comments. Please ask me because I'm, I'm looking forward to 
you know, answering some of these requests. Okay? Thank you so much for watching.